okay so once you've created your github account now you should be able at least to view something that looks like this have a screen that looks like this and i am going to advise you to click on the three lines on the left hand corner here and this menu will pop up so it might look different on your phone but it will look at least something like this so when i click on my name my github username that i created when i was creating the account here then i'll be on this page so on this page you kind of like have maybe a description if you've put any an overview and then there is something here in these options here where you see overview then there is repositories projects and i want us to click on repositories so right now you can see that i already have 22 repositories but if you've just created your account then it's going to only be one repository and for you i mean you won't have any repository because you've just created your account i'm sorry about that so to create actually your first repository you'll click on the green button here uh, on the right that is uh, labeled new and when you click on that most probably we won't need a template for uh, your first repository so you will have to input in a name let's say first project is going to be the repository name and then you can add a description and then you also choose whether you want this to be public or private so for your first repository i highly advise you that you let it be public so that maybe i can come in and see the work you're doing and actually all these repositories let them be public as we are working but i just want to tell you that you can choose to make your repositories public or private so imagine you're working in a company and you're writing code that is like really important to the company and you can just put it out there that everyone can kind of like edit or clone the repository cloning is making a copy of the repository so you don't want everyone to kind of like be able to edit such code because it's property of the company so you would in that instance make it private or if you're working on a product and you don't want actually people to know the product before you release it Oh, anyway there are so many reasons you would make a repository private uh, something that we would also add is add a readme file but for now we can leave it empty and after this you say you click on create repository and this should be able to create re your repository so it might bring up uh, all these other things but most so yes the repository is already created so if I go back to uh, my page where i was seeing repositories i now have 23 repositories and if i click on the repositories list then um, i should be able to see the repository that's how you will create your first repository